is Quinton going to be doing this season with everything that's happened in his life since last year, you know, with Laurel God, Sarah being back on the time ship and all that? Um, where's the pictures? <laughs> One second. <laughs> and I scared him off. Hmm. Way to go. I asked him, what is it going to be, you know, what, 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 what is he, you know, how is it going to be to see that after all the emotional stuff? But... He's checking to see if he can say. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this should be good. Or not. Should, yeah. Well, I've had a sex change operation. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, he's uh, battling with some old demons. As well you might if you've lost your daughter. If you've lost two daughters three times, there might uh, come a point where you will struggle with some old demons. So, uh, yeah, Lance is, um, is uh, doing his best to uh, pick up his own pieces. That was an answer of sorts. <laughs> It was like a riddle, but okay. <laughs> there you go. Riddles are interesting. So what's going to happen is, is he actually going to be able to be happy? With, happy? Well, <laughs> I think there was one line, wasn't Felicity's there, where Laurel said something like, I was going to say. Oh, with Felicity's mom. I mean, you know, there's a little bit there, maybe, that's not dark. Yeah. Um, well, that certainly was a little light in his life at the end of season four. But when things get crappy, things get crappy, don't they? Uh, we'll see. Sometimes it's kind of hard for the audience, though, to week after week see somebody in such a dark place and they just want to see them lift up. Do you ever get to that point where you're just like, man, something You think it's tough for the audience? What about me, man? <laughs> Jeez, I have to live with this stuff. Um, uh, well, there was that little chink of light. With, uh, you know, you got laid in season four. Sure, sure. That's, that's a nice chink of light. So, um, huh? The hashtag. Get Lance yeah, get Lance laid. Exactly, that worked. Um, no, it is, uh, it is kind of... Um, I don't know how the audience feels about it, but yeah, watching somebody suffer isn't the greatest thing in the world. But he's definitely had his moments. It's quite a bit it's more human than I was expecting last season as well. Um, but um, yeah, we'll see. Can you tease what he's going to be doing now? Because we got the impression that he was leaving the police force. Well, he was fired from the police force. That would, would give us the impression. Yeah, getting your badge taken away from you. Um, took one for the team there. Um, He's, he's on the drift at the moment. Sitting at home, knitting. Knitting, <laughs> knitting, <laughs> knitting. Not getting laid, maybe. Getting laid, I <laughs> don't know. So here we go. Old problems. Um, yeah, he's in a bit of a desolate place. Miserable. <laughs> Tune in, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Well, while we lost one Laurel, we do have another Laurel now on Earth 1, who came from Earth 2, but in the pipeline in Starlight on the Flash. How did Quinton react to see a different version of his daughter, evil, with powers, being alive? I think he'd give her a good sitting down and a good talking to, wouldn't he? Like, what the hell are you up to, young girl? Um, I don't know. I'm, it hasn't happened in Lance's life yet, so I haven't thought about it. When it does, I will. But... Uh, I mean, he's had a lot of weird stuff to deal with, hasn't he? The magic stuff, the time travel stuff. And it went over to Legends. Yeah. Yeah, Lance just shakes his head. He's like, oh, what the hell's going on in this city? Would he be pissed though that the team flashed it in town lab? Uh, I don't know the full circumstances, so I can't answer the question. They're, they say that you're keep, they're keeping a secret from him and Sarah because they don't want them to get hurt again. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about it. 